So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing a cat and the mouse game. So we've been doing a lot of platformers lately, so we've, deci we've decided to make a beginner's game. So today we are going to be working on this game. The objective of the game is to get five points uh, by collecting the cheese right here that will randomly appear around the screen. You will use your mouse to control the sprite mouse, this mouse, and you will you will try you should try to avoid getting caught by the cat. And today we'll be following we'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch: variables, loops, broadcasting messages, controlling sprites with your mouse, and custom block and custom block. So let's go to our project. So um. I'll show you I'll show you guys how this game works. So play it. I'm gonna make it full screen. So as you can see when you hit the mouse it says game over. Added some music. And let me get the cheese. So when you collect the cheese, you will receive one point. And I'll try to win. And use the mouse pointer to control where you want the cat to uh, mouse to move and the cat will follow. Cheeses will spawn like every two seconds. And when you get five points, I'll say you win. You can make the cat a bit slower if you want, because it's in my opinion it's pretty fast. So without further ado, let's start a new project. So first we want to rename the project to cat and um, mouse. And let's take out the um you can throw away your cat um, and we'll choose some sprites so we have the cat we have the um, mouse and we I just got a cheese from online um, you can just search up cheese PNG so I actually uploaded a sprite cheese for my uh, backpack so I just got a cheese from online uh, and and um, if you don't want a backdrop for your um, cheese like some they have like a white backdrop you can search up PNG cheese PNG instead so right now let's work on the cat code and we'll need to make one variable called score which will be keeping track of the score when you touch the cheese and for the cat, let's get a one flat clicked. Uh, go to 180, Z, Y position is zero. So I made it spawn somewhere right here. And the I wanted to make the mouse spawn somewhere in the middle. So it'll have some distance for it to catch up to the mouse. And get a forever loop. Point towards the mouse. Point towards the mouse move three steps I mean you can do two or something but I'm just doing three um, and then so that's all the code for the cat for now let's just go to the mouse so for the mouse we're gonna get a one flat clicked go to zero zero which is the center zero zero I set the size to 50 percent in the beginning so it's not too big as you can see it's kind of big Get a forever loop, point towards the mouse pointer. So you want it to point towards the mouse pointer and move six steps. So it's double the speed of the cat. One flat clicked, get another one. So this is optional, I guess, but it's just to make it look like it's walking, I guess. So one flat clicked, get a forever loop. Next costume, wait 0 0.1 seconds. 0.1 seconds so and then for the cheese we will need some custom blocks for this actually so let's make a custom block called generate cheese we are making this custom block so then we don't have to keep on repeating code and we can just call it at different places 
so it's easier to understand and keep organized and you can call it at different places so um for the exposition i did it go to pick random 200 to negative 200 for the exposition and then for the y position i did it pick random 150 to negative 150. So 200 is right here, negative 200 is right here, 150 is about right here, and negative 150 is about right here. And then put show after that. And then get a one flag clicked. When flag clicked, set, you want to set the score to zero in the beginning. And then forever, forever generate cheese. So then in the beginning, it will always generate a piece of cheese. Wait until... We want to wait until touching the mouse, the mouse, and then we can change the score by one if it's touching the mouse, and then we can hide after it's done touching the mouse. And then finally, we can add a um, win and lose message, so I'm just going to paint a sprite. So let's go text, I'm just going to use pixel. So you lose, you lose, you lose. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger, like this big. And then I'm gonna duplicate the costume and then uh, rename this to you win. But I'm gonna make it green just cause, uh, oops, accidentally deleted the whole thing before that happened. So let me just delete this. So you, wait, it's supposed to be green. So I have to change it to green. So you win like that. And don't forget to center all your sprites and all your costumes. So I've centered all of them. And when flag clicked, you want to go to zero, zero. Go to the middle. And then you want to hide in the beginning. And then let's go back to our cat, okay? So in our cat, we need an if then statement. If it is touching the mouse, touching the mouse, then we want to broadcast a message called game over. Game over. And then um, the you lose sprite can receive the game over. When I receive game over, then we can switch costume to the first costume because the first costume is the you lose. And then we want to show and stop all. Stop all. And then let's go back to the mouse. No, not the, uh, yeah, let's go back. No, no, the cheese, I mean, I meant the cheese. So let's go back to the cheese. And then for here, let's add an extra piece of code. If the score is equal to five. You can do it any, whatever amount you want. Score, whatever amount you want. Then we can broadcast a message called win. New message called win. And then we can wait two seconds, so have like a two second delay before creating another cheese. And then for the broadcast message, the message right here, I can rename it to message actually. Message. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this when I receive win instead of game over and switch costume to costume 2 because the second costume is the winning as you can see and show and then stop all so now the game should function correctly but one last thing we can add music and a backdrop so let's add a backdrop so I just made like a little fade of blue so I'm just going to the paint bucket so for the first one, I just made it a little bit darker blue, like this dark, and then I used this one, I made a light blue, a little fade. It kind of like fades. So I'm just gonna convert to bitmap so I can fill it. Oops, accidentally made a mistake there. So I just undo that. So as you can see, we have a pretty good backdrop. And let's play the game. As you can see, you can move around. A cheese shows up. Let's collect the cheese. I got a score. And as you can see, I started out with two scores because probably the cheese spawned right on top of me. So 
See, you got five score, you win. When you touch the cat, you lose. I'm gonna do it one last time. And, oh yeah, I forgot to add music. Let's add music right now, so let's go to code. I'm just gonna get a random song from the library, go to loops. I'm just gonna take Bossa Nova, cause that's the one I used for my other game, from the game. Forever, when fly click, you wanna forever play Bossa Nova until then. So now you have the music. I'm play it one last time. This is a pretty simple game, and it's kind of fun for beginners. go five score and you win so save your project and that concludes our video for today um if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you guys in the next video